All right, we really have to rush now and get to that malaria conversation. And joining us uh, for that conversation are two individuals. Uh, the first is pharmacist Derek Osondu. He's the general manager of sales and marketing, Green Life Pharmaceuticals Limited. And it's not balanced without a woman. So you have <laughs> Achidi Machibo, uh, the general manager, business development strategy and customer experience, Clearline HMO. Good to have you. Health Thank people. <laughs> health people today. <laughs> Malaria Day. But I, I think the first thing would be to know the relationship between Green Life Pharmaceuticals and Clearline HMO. Ladies first. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for having us this Good morning. Good to have you. Um, Green Life Pharmaceuticals is just a partner, and we are on this journey trying to eradicate malaria. So, I mean, what worthy partner do you want to get than? A giant in the industry who are renowned for producing the, one of the most effective ACTs that's targeted at curing this culture called malaria. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so that's the partnership we have. Oh, right, thank you, Chidima, <laughs> for, for that. And thank you for having us on the station. Good As you all know, you. today is World Malaria Day. Yeah. And um, what better partner than to choose a health <laughs> management age, um, organization to help us fight this? So, just, for, just to say a little about it, Green Life Pharmaceuticals is a leading indigenous pharmaceutical company where marketing and distribution concern based in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. And like we need to tell the general public, our vision is to be the vanguard of healthy living and choice companion for all our publics. Mm, great. Oh. So since today is World Malaria Day, uh, conversations are going about eradication as the theme indicates. Um, vaccine is also another conversation going on. Uh, maybe you should tell us, Green Life, what you're doing. Uh, uh, she said you're a giant today. Oh. <laughs> so right tell us so. what makes you a giant, um, fighting malaria, especially at, this, at okay. this time. The slogan for this year is that we should accelerate the fight against malaria for a more equitable world. And you see, malaria seems to affect sub-Saharan Africa disproportionately if you compare it to other areas of the world. So if there was a study that was done in 2001 by certain Gallup and Sachs, and he said that Africa loses about two, 12 billion annually in lost GDP because of malaria. So, WHO advocates that we should control, prevent, and treat malaria. So our own area where, we, where we're very strong is treatment. And that's what we came up with the gold standard for treatment, which is the ACTs. And like she pointed out, our flagship brand, which is Lonat, is one of the strongest ACTs that we use to fight against malaria. And it's affordable and cost effective. I've made it very, very available for everyone. And it's really helping to control and take care of this scourge mm. called malaria. Mm -hmm. so, so unfortunately, uh, there's still news of people dying of malaria. You know, that's so sad because yeah. you'd have thought in sub-Saharan Africa, we've, we've, we've lived with malaria so much that, you know, nobody would have to. Perhaps it's because the HMOs do not <laughs> allow us, you know, the affordability of it. Okay, so I like the point, all right, like you pointed out, the theme for this year is accelerating the fight against malaria for a more equitable world, all right? I mean, for the underserved, for the slums of the world, you know, there's the, the sensitization, it's not very great as it were right now. All right, what we are doing as a HMO, he pointed out the three keys, prevention, um, prevention, treatment, all right, and diagnosing, you know, this malaria. So when we come in prevention, all right, we have design plans, you know, in our organizations that are very affordable. Please, very affordable. I mean, we, serve, we, we are a proponent to achieving the universal health coverage. When everybody has access to health care, people begin to, there's a health-seeking behavior that comes with having access to, you know, health care. And, you know, people begin to seek quick intervention when they, when they fall ill. But we don't want people falling ill. What we are big on doing in our HMO is the prevention part of it. Right, we feel that if we are able to prevent this condition, you, everybody ha will all be optimized in whatever we are doing. Because when you fall sick, you're out of work. All right, but when you stay healthy, you're productive. All right, and the economy is more productive. Than so we are all about prevention. All right, having to take the campaign to the communities, having to let them know um, what they can do in their spaces to keep away the mosquitoes that will bring the malaria, all right? 
interventions, bringing interventions that would help them stay healthy. Like, you know, part of what we're doing for the World Malaria Day this year, like we've done other years, is one community at a time, reaching out to the underserved communities, taking um, information to them, very much needed information, sensitization, you know, and then taking um, incentives like the mosquito net. All right, we have testings done. We have um, drugs being prescribed right there, all right, to those communities. We've done it for some communities. And this today, we're not living out. We are going to a community where we are taking this one step at a time, you know, reaching more people, letting them know what this, this scourge is, how to prevent it. All right, and how to get treated if they fall ill. And, and yeah. we hope you don't wait for just um, uh, when it's a warm malaria day. That's, that's, what, that's, what, I <laughs> that's, 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 that's what I said. That's why I said we are big on prevention. All right, so we go to not just for um, World Malaria Day alone. We take um, this the much needed information that the people need to stay healthy, both malaria, you know, and other ailments. All right, so that's what we play big on in our HMO. And then secondly, is creating very affordable plans that will ensure that all Nigerians have access to healthcare. Mm. So let, let me come to you. Uh, you have LONATS. Um, tell us the assurance you give your, uh, your customers, or potential customers, uh, they talk about fake drugs and things like that. Are there features you can look out for to be sure? Yeah, most know? definitely. Um, there's, um, there's a feature on the pack. It's on the pack, it's called MAS. It's a form of mobile authentication service in which people can scratch and, test and text to a certain dedicated line to confirm the authenticity or otherwise of the brand they have in their hand. But let me also add, we're taking it a step further. We're talking in talks with um, the, regulate, the regulator and some private individuals to so bring in what we call track and trace. So it means that we're going to be able to track our brands from the point of entry into Nigeria to the point of consumption. For, so it's an end-to-end -end solution in how we intend in the very near future to protect our brand from fake. But what we can assure you now is that we do a lot of last mile distribution. So most often than not, the products you find in repeatable pharmacies are genuine and good to use. Mm, well, I, would, I would have talked about, you know, making those products actually in Nigeria. But I mean, we're really out of, out of time. <laughs> I hope we have plans. For that in the yeah, most, most, yes, very true. We, yes, we have plans. It's part of our long-term um, okay. strategy to produce these drugs locally. We're looking, we're looking forward to that. Yeah. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. You. Chidi Machigbo, General Manager, Business Development Strategy and Customer Experience, Clearline HMO, and also pharmacist Derek Osondu, GM Sales and Marketing. Thank with you very much. Life Thank you very much. It's Thank a pleasure. Thank you yeah. very much. It's been right. a pleasure. And happy World Malaria Day. Yeah, happy World Malaria Day. We should say. We look forward to eradicating it. Yes. 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 yes we will. We are on the fight, well, and we will win. We will win. <laughs> Thank, All right. you. Thank you. I really have to apologize to Sunrise Daily, my colleagues. You have to forgive me today. Let's take a bit of commercial, and then we'll head straight to the Sunrise Daily Studios. Thank you so much, gentlemen. I think Ayo, uh, Melta, and Kayla, you have forgiven me already. I take that. <laughs>